Hello, I am Sandy Klapsman, the studying standard. Lama in Speaknar High Secondary School. I am Jim Nityashmi of Standard 9 from Speaknar High Secondary School. Hi, I am Jim Nityashmi of Speaknar High Secondary School, studying 5th standard. While someone is working in a place where there is an emission of some hazardous gases, they are not able to recognize it immediately and due to this problem, most of them are dying in day-to-day -day situation. So, this is the major reason which helped me to develop this project, Atmometer. Atmometer is a portable weather station and a gas leakage detection station. VHD MQ2, MQ135 and DHT11 sensors, then LCD 16 into 2 display and Arduino Uno board. MQ2 sensor is used to detect LPG gas, smoke, uh, various gases and MQ135 sensor is the air quality sensor which detect uh, benzene, uh, alcohol, methane, enzyme etc. Then DHT11 level, uh, level sensor is a humidity and temperature sensor. It is a basic sensor uh, used to detect the temperature and uh, humidity. Uh, LCD 16 into display is an uh, electronic uh, display module. LCD is a uh, liquid crystal display. And Arduino Uno board is the microcontroller board based on the Atmega 328V and it is the brain of our circuit. I am going to explain our project Atmometer. The sensors DHT11, MQ2 and MQ135 sensors are connected with Arduino Uno board and the Arduino Uno board is connected with LCD 16 into 2 display. The role of DHT11 sensor is to show the temperature and humidity. The role of now you will be able to see the DHT11 role. Then this is the role of MQ2 and the working of MQ135 is to show the air quality. When the uh, wind blows towards this direction, it, uh, the aroma moves towards the uh, wind direction. Next, we have also included compass in atmometer. This is to show the direction uh, in, of the locus of our point. And we have drawn uh, the various directions north, west, east and south. Uh, in which direction we are standing, the LED glows there. We have connected all the negative terminals to the LEDs and all positive terminals to the Arduino Nano board. And uh, we have used uh, the magnetometer for uh, magnetometer for showing the directions. And now we are standing in the northeast uh, directions, and hence the light in northeast alone is glowing. This is a local atmometer. This we have also created a cloud-based atmometer for detecting the weather conditions from different locations. So we have used the ESP eight to double six module so this is the main server which helps to detect the weather climates we have used the thing speak which is an open source used for uh, detecting some of the values so here we have created a channel with the name admometer and we have also included the fields which are required for the admometer then we also have the public view where we can see the data flow chart which helps to know the data of these four quantities. Now we can see that the temperature is constant and therefore it's showing like this and here we have the humidity which is also constant in our location now. So here we also have the feature of exporting the recent data. Here you can see we have separately taken it for temperature, humidity, pressure, wind speed and wind direction. We can also take it in the whole atmometer's cloud. So we have used a client from the ThinkSpeak and we have communicated it with the help of ESP8266 with this Arduino programming code.
nanometer are first wireless communication using ESP8266. Then we have used Arduino IDE, IDE for programming, Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, and ESP8266. Then we have used uh, and generated the API code using the open weather map. We have used ThinkSpeak for cloud-based atmometer. And then functionalities of an atmometer are as follows. Uh, atmometer is basically uh, a portable device and we have used that for uh, detecting the prevailing conditions uh, surrounding us. First, it is uh, used to detect the climatic conditions, that is like temperature, humidity, and uh, any toxic gases around us. And this would be useful in most the traveling places or unknown places or uh, any other range of spaces too. Next thing is it can also be used in smoke detection such as carbon monoxide and so on. Uh, and thus we can uh, prevent many damages or injuries due, uh, due to the uh, leakage of uh, any harmful gases. And also we have used a compass here uh, due, uh, which can help us to uh, direct our direction or we can be uh, and we can take that in uh, all the places and we can know where we are and uh, we, it helps us to be safe in the surroundings. A totally atmometer helps us to be uh, more safe and it gives us a secure uh, security in any unknown conditions or in any unknown places. And my role in this project is I have, uh, I have made the programming for this atmometer. I made the electronic circuit. And myself made the 3D cases and the outer of this project. Thank, Thank you. you.